What will do y'all wish to do? So the dragon has our loot. Well, no, actually, Robert has it. Never mind. Ooh. All right, uh, shall we head back to the cultists? <laughs> <laughs> we'll walk outside and just hear a gunshot. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, you make your way back down to the cultists. Uh, someone knocks on the door, I assume. Yeah, I'll lock on the door. Probably not me. Yeah. Cause... Who is it? <clears throat> it's your buddies. We're back. Ah, oh, the Chrome Lords have returned, everyone. He remembered our name. <laughs> door opens. I feel it's so been like 20 minutes since you left, probably. <laughs> All right, Gerald, you go first. Are you guys going inside? Yeah, I send Gerald in first, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone head inside. Nice of you to join us. Uh, do you wish to go talk to Venom Fang now? Yes, um, thought we should discuss some things before we head out. Um, uh, yes. I'll let our ambassador, Roberto, do the talking. Roberto! Are we inside at this point, or are we just sitting, standing outside, menacing? You, y'all went inside. Roberto. <laughs> Roberto! <laughs> The cult leader's just, like, staring at Robert, like, okay, if you're going to talk, talk. What you going to say? <laughs> Got something to get off your chest? Not just the cult leader. Everybody in the room is staring at Robert, and he's not talking. <laughs> well. <laughs> 40 minutes later. I think that I think I'd like to uh, lighten the mood of our friendship with a, a, little, uh, a little ditty I came up with one. For the kitty. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> a little ditty for the kitty. P. Diddy? Oh, no. <laughs> Hydra cars. Uh, I'm going to pull out my loot and start uh, playing a song, trying to uh, use my, whatever the fuck it's called, my enthralling performance on uh, everyone except the leader. Okay. Or I guess I can only do four, so four of the... Trying to get them more uh, liking me more. Boom. Okay. Does that just yeah, happen? I'll, I'll, I'll sing about dragons and shit. Uh... I mean, you, they have to roll, yeah, you know, wisdom fourteens to see if they get uh, charmed by me or not. But that is what I'm doing. You just see one guy go, "Yeah, dragon <laughs> music," and everyone else in the room just sort of like <laughs> stares at him, like he's way too hyped about this music. <laughs> one person. Let's hear your dragon song, Robert. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Boris. <laughs> Come on, Roberto. <laughs> uh, performance, I guess. <laughs> we start chanting Dovahkiin. 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 Is a plus five, so that brings me up to a 20. Uh, you start singing. Do you have a song prepared? Uh, no. Surprisingly, I've had songs prepared in the past that I haven't sung, but I don't have one prepared for this. <laughs> All right. Um, you sing about dragons and how beautiful they are and how they'll bring destruction to the world. And the cultists are like the music and they're happy but there's that one dude in the corner who's like yeah <laughs> he's just like really getting just screaming yeah he's like full-on at a concert everyone else rolled like a 19 <laughs> and higher he rolled like a nat one so <laughs> nice we might be able to convince this guy to join our cult instead <laughs> perfect <laughs> i rub my hands together I, yes that was a lovely song about dragons uh <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's keep make sure we keep mentioning it was oh, about dragons. Now down to the uh now down to the green tax. Now down to the gritty. I like that. That instead yes, of brass tax, the green tax. Seek Hell to yeah. work together to approach the chrome venom tax. thing <laughs> to discuss our goals with it, correct? Yes. Do are we planning to all act as a group or like we wanna to talk to him, you wanna to talk to him? Blah. I was Imagining we'd all approach together. Yes, well, strength and numbers. Makes sense. Uh, what uh, yeah, what was it that you are asking of the dragon? Uh, Maybe we can get an idea of what what is normal to ask for a dragon to do from their answer. <laughs> can you help us kill Kyle? Who? <laughs> I hate Kyle. Every Kyle. Breed a Kyle. Yeah, that would be the ultimate mind fuck. We go to the dragon and he thinks the other cult is lying and we're the real one. <laughs> he actually has heard of a Shishil. Or a Shisil. Or a Shasil. Or a Chicago. Or a Chirac. 
Or a Shia LaBeouf. Or a Shia Rhodes Conway. Or Kanye's new album. Uh, we just... Kanye released a new album? Seek to worship uh, the powerful creatures that they are. Oh. You guys are way less ASCII than we are. <laughs> so yes. does it know you're coming? Uh, I highly doubt Dragon noticed such insignificant creatures such as us. Then why would it not just, like, acid breath you the second it sees you? Uh, they typically are intrigued by those who approach it. It's more intelligent than a rock. <laughs> yeah. They are quite cunning and wise. I suppose my question more boils down to the fact that are you worshipping it, not just a waste of its time? Yes, we are worshipping it. Why would we be a waste of its time? We could help provide its goals, treasure, food. Yes, but imagine providing it with an even greater quest. Something befit of a dragon. Are you really about to <laughs> tell dragon cultists about the borders? <laughs> nope. You're praying the wrong way. Let me show you how. <laughs> and what greater quest is there for a dragon than just existing? What is the point of being the leader of a great cult if you do not have another cult to lead against? Um, <laughs> just worshipping what we want to? I, I mean, you don't have to have a moral enemy. Yes, your but a parents. dragon. A dragon is a physical beast of great power. We have an offer that will allow that dragon to use its power on a great foe. I'm not trying to say mm. your offer is shit or anything, but you're not really offering anything. You're like, hey, can we hang out with you? And then, bah! It acid breasts you. Whereas we approach and we say, hello, great champion. Fight along our side and you will be the, the victor of all the lands that you see. And he will go, Blah! and probably acid breath us too, but there's a better chance he won't. <laughs> I'm saying, you join our side and join the winning team. I, I believe uh, I can speak for all of us here when I say we deeply believe in what we are attempting to achieve. I look over towards the guy that was cheering for Robert. And what about you, champ? Oh, I mean, I really love that music. It really deeply imbibes <laughs> what we stand. Thank you. I, I go to high five him. He high fives you back. Like, I'm never walking yeah. this home. Yeah. <laughs> and that music comes from a place of pure jubilation about being around dragons and using them, not like using them, using them, but using a, a champion such as powerful as a dragon to defeat a champion that would think, ooh, dragons are smelly and gross. We'll defeat them. We'll defeat them, destroy them, and then and then the dragon will be in charge of the cult. Imagine that. Imagine starting off uh, just uh, the greatest crusade of dragon kin ever by defeating Kyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, Kyle is actually the cult leader of the Goody Boys. And he's uh, feared throughout the land for trying to spread goodness. Well, not by people that, you know, want happiness in the world, but, like, for people like us, you know, we hate him. Yes. The and a chrome brothers. dragon could defeat such a, a foul, happy man. Uh, well, if they're as happy as you say you are, probably anyone can. <laughs> oh, trust me. The, the power of love is strong with Kyle. They say that when he was a, a young boy, his parents died to keep him alive, and now a great spirit watches over him, and his power is one that can only be bested by the greatest dragon you've ever seen! <laughs> yeah, well. I fall over as I say this. <clears throat> and I get back up. <clears throat> so what do you guys well, say? From the sound, sounds of it, you're searching for a you know stronger dragon. Venom nah. is still quite young. That's the thing, man. That's the thing I'm trying to get at. This is the offer of a lifetime. You're offering him a buddy. We're offering him a chance at greatness. A chance to prove themselves. Exactly. To the world. Someone has to be greater than Tiamat. And it will be the Great Fang. Venom Fang of greatness. <laughs> okay. Can I roll to try to convince him? <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, for sure, sure man. For sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Pal. This cult leader doesn't sound very confident in their dragon that they're going to go riz up. Uh, what's my plus? 16. You seem highly invested in your cult's goals. I'm sure Vidim Fang will give you just as much attention as us when we get there, and whichever offer works out better for him is probably one he might take if we offer the right incentives. Yes, and imagine how convincing we could be if we all joined as one. The greatest dragon cult that Thunder Tree has ever seen. I'm afraid we'll have to decline on your offer of joining forces in the same cult, but we can work together to approach uh, Venom Fang all the same. Before approaching him as a group, do you have more cloaks of whatever that's called? Uh, we do not uh, have any more cloaks with us. Okay, we'll I take understand. your guys' cloaks. I'm what? afraid we are actively <laughs> using them. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, couldn't you just, like, share for a little bit? <laughs> Sharing is caring, I after all. I believe uh, donning the robes of uh, different cults would be a little sacrilegious for us to give them to you. My god. I'm very hurt by your words. Fabric, I, I'm, I'm confused at how you don't see the potential of this situation. You're throwing it all away for what? For your pride, for your ego. You don't want to admit <laughs> the truth. I, I don't see myself taking advantage of the situation. I'm gathering more powerful people to help me approach a dragon. More f powerful people that will make you look like a fool when you offer him companionship and we offer him glory. Perhaps. I'm going to look to the rest of the cultists. Listen to him! Listen how he won't even consider our offer. He is sentencing you to a life of blandness. When you could have a life of glory. Be the champions of the great Venom Fang, not some lackey like this m Fabric wants you to be. No offense, Fabric. He just shrugs. <laughs> He's clearly going through some sort of depression or mental health problem. <laughs> Follow us instead. <laughs> um, they all look uh, perfectly content following Fabric. I'm going to detect thoughts, Fabric, again. Okay. And actually uh, make him wisdom save. Make him wisdom save. All right. I uh, detect my own thoughts, and I'm screaming <laughs> pineapple in my head. Yeah, I, am, I will just yell that out. <laughs> I'm going to say this out of gameplay and not to Phallic. Um, <laughs> if we go with them to the dragon, and the dragon essentially is like, oh, great, these guys are buddying up with me. I'm going to hang out with them, and I'm going to kill these other guys. We're going to have to fight the cult the cult people and the dragon simultaneously and that yeah. might not go well yeah. so we might just want to kill them now meanwhile in phallic's head he was really angry that he got called phallic kill him he's been hearing that his whole life he didn't want to be reminded of it um you get the service thoughts uh he seems content and happy to work with you for this uh but as soon as you try to delve deeper the spell breaks <laughs> Ah! I think he succeeded on his saving throw. I'll give you one last chance, Fabric. <laughs> Take up the mantle. Become the leader your people need you to be. Approach this dragon with a quest so great he cannot turn it down. Or forever be the fools that declined this offer. Remember when... Who was it? Somebody was going to buy Netflix and then they didn't? That's what this is like. Blockbuster? Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't be Blockbuster. Are you threatening them? I'm, I mean, not in like a I'm going to attack you way. I'm threatening them in like you're about to be a loser. <laughs> um, Should I roll for that? Uh, No, I just wanted to know if he's getting like violent vibes from you or not. No. <laughs> I'm basically just being like, don't be a peasant. Join the good, the good greatness. Greatness quest of all time. Uh, we will continue our uh, worship of the dragons and the way Tiamat sees fit. God damn, bro. I, I, I'm I just getting such a flaccid penis vibe from you. It's just incredible. Shall we have a feast and a rest before we set off tomorrow to celebrate our uh, journey together to taking out the... Uh, taking out... Communication Take that on a date. with the dragon. I think we should have a uh, anonymous vote. 
so that your people aren't intimidated by your flaccidness and we get everyone's <laughs> real feelings about the situation. If you want, I can walk out of the room and they can just tell you. All right, get out. But they're gonna be no, but they're gonna be peer pressured by their peers. This needs right, to be get fully out. anonymous. Get out, Fabric. Uh, Fabric <laughs> leaves. The other cultists are like, we believe in leader of Fabric. I'm gonna start drawing a pineapple in the air towards Robert <laughs> to see if he knows what I'm doing. Uh, give me a performance check to see how well you draw. <laughs> draw, draw some penis. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at performance. Oh, I got a plus three, so 12. Uh, per perception, Robert? All right. I wish I had real life perception to be able to read 17. Uh, yeah, you notice uh, that he's drawing a pineapple. Do you want to go through with it? I will hold my, uh, hold my hands together and point at the other two and whisper that Oris is pineappling. <laughs> it sounds like... It sounds disgusting. <laughs> are we to pineapple your hands. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just telling them before I do. Alright, well, everyone roll initiative. So Fabric's out of the room, right? And we have surprise? Um, I'll figure that out. 16. 14 on initiative. 9. <laughs> sounds like something... <laughs> uh, no, there's no surprise in this. Robert, you're first. Oh, yeah. Robert's just gonna take out Talon and stab the dude to his left. Uh, this is the dude who's, like, really hyped about your performance. He's like, yeah, man, dragons! I'm glad we all love dragons. And then you just Okay, if that's just... him, then I am gonna stab the dude next to him. <laughs> uh, you stab the dude next to the dude who's all happy about your dragon performance. Yeah. <laughs> Cold, no, slightly blooded. better. Never mind. <laughs> Old world. Old. Straight up now, Cam. You ain't uh, really want to fuck uh, when we get there. Uh, uh, All right. Is it just a hit and run? Uh, 11. 11. 11 damage? Yeah. You roll the 10 plus 1? Yes, sir. Decap you decapitate a cultist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> What, what? Well, they didn't want to kill us. No, they do. <laughs> Does that mean he chopped the hood off the cloak? Uh, yes. <laughs> God damn it, Robert! I whisper to the dude next to me that I'm sorry, and I end my turn. <laughs> you whisper, that, join too. us! <laughs> <laughs> Frito's gonna move here and attack this guy with my rapier. Alright, give me a roll. It's gonna be a... Uh... 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 uh 17. Oh, he's getting hit. It's gonna do three, five, ten damage. Ten damage? Thirteen damage. Thirteen Damn. damage. Pierce right through the eye of the cultist. Perfect. Oh, I wanted to keep the robe intact, too. So. Well, there is now a giant hole coming out of the back of it. That's and okay. At least the through. hood is still there, so. Nah, um, gonna, next up, pop, uh, the... Pop, okay. pop, pop, till I just can't stop right here. Okay. Next up is the cultist. Um, one's going to come down here, one's going to come down here. Three, Fabric four. comes back from the bathroom and all his friends are dead. <laughs> right, uh. first back in, Scimitar held up. <laughs> uh, we're going to have two attacks on Gerald, both just cling off his armor, one's going to... So Fabric wasn't even surprised? He was in a different room. Well, he heard the combat. Okay. Um, everyone missed. Uh, <laughs> Oris, that's you. He's cultists suck. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'm gonna attack Fabric. I wonder if they wanna rizz thing. up a dragon. They're weak as shit. Alright, give me a roll. There's a roof over this place, right? That's gonna be a 23 to hit. 23 hits? That's gonna be... Uh, I'm gonna... Let me check to see if I have my Hexblade's Curse. I do, so I'm gonna cast Hexblade's Curse on him. So I'm gonna get right. two extra damage. <laughs> and that's... Uh, two plus four plus two... Eight damage. Eight damage. All right, you slash Fabric, and he still stands. I say, for Chrome Darkness! There's no such dragon or cult. You lie! Fuck do you know, <laughs> bitch. You're about to die. You're the fake cult! Anyone want to give me history checks? Sure. <clears throat> Let's do it. Robert loves history. 20. Dirty 20. Uh, those who just got a 20, uh, so I think it's Robert and Oris. Looking at these masks and these cultists, you just realized... These people belong to the biggest dragon cult in Faerun. 
dedicate <laughs> their life and worship to recruiting dragons to bringing back Tiamat. <laughs> Sheep. That's what I'm hearing. So they are uh, pretty famous and very dedicated to what they do. Listen, just because he says it's fake doesn't mean it's fake, okay? We might no. be a new cult. Chrome Darkness well, is on the rise. He, yeah, exactly. Never Chrome, darkness <laughs> Chrome Darkness is moving through these streets, all right? Uh, next up is Gerald, who's just going to attack one of the ones that attacked him. And once you're dead, he's going to be moving in your sheets, too. Oh, shit. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, he gets... <laughs> <laughs> another cultist gets... Hold up, hold up. Gerald kills another cultist. <laughs> Did he chop another hood off? Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Gerald, what are you doing? Oh, fucking idiot. Killing people. Save the cloaks. We need them. Oh, no one told me. Yeah, we thought you had a brain. So what, Save we've the last got... two. Yeah, <laughs> for fuck's sake. There's six of them. Only two of them the cloaks been cut off. So. True, true. Uh, that brings us back up to Robert. All right. I'm going to swing at the phallic member. Boom. <laughs> Fabric. Penis. Got it. <laughs> 17. 17 will hit. The Dallas Fabrics. All right. It's going to be 7 Talon Demon. Now I assume you're trying to not destroy the outfit? Uh, as much as possible, yes. All right, you just biggish gash across the front, uh, and then he falls over dead. Nice. Uh, Frito, that is you. Frito's going to... Oh, did Phallic die? Yeah. yeah, it stabs him. I was hoping to finish game end phallic. Uh, <laughs> give him what he deserves. What a thing to I'm going to move here. I'm going to attack this guy. All right. Give me a roll. It'll be an 18. 18 hits. And I'm going to do 5 plus 1. Uh, 8 damage. 8 damage. All right. Cult member still stands, and it's now their turn. Who, at seeing Favric go down, uh, they disengage and one, two, three, four, five, start running away. Uh, this one disengages one, two, three, four, five, is also running away. That is the dead one, this one. <laughs> Uh, Oris, that is you. Okay. Can I go grapple this guy? Uh, you can try to, yes. Okay. I will attempt to grapple him. Is that strength? I think it's opposed athletics. Athletics, okay. Well, I have minus one on that, so it should be fine. Six! Hoo-ah! I just run past him. Hey! <laughs> Slam into the wall while he's running out the door. Hoo-ah! Uh, he dodges out of the way. Keeps running. Got an 11. At least now he has to disengage from me. Yes. Uh, Gerald's turn. Gerald's going to one, two, and just huck a javelin. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a javelin-shaped hole in your cloak, the dragon says. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> four plus <laughs> seven is 13, which will hit. Girls a javelin. <laughs> Right in the back of the head, and the cultist just collapses to the ground, dead. Got him. It impales through him into the ground. Oh, yeah, it's just like <laughs> he went through his head, and now his head is just sort of <laughs> at the top of like the javelin lying in the ground. <laughs> that brings us back to the top with Robert. Big Bobby. All right. How the fuck? Did I'm gonna run you? after Oris and also try to grapple him. All right. Athletics. Athletics is a 15. Dodges out of your way. Ah! Stop running! End my turn. Ah, uh, Frito, you're up. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Frito, from the doorway, sees all these guys trying to tackle this guy. <gasps> uh, uh, He's gonna uh, say, fuck that and try and stab him in the back of the head. Oh, alright. Is there a reason we're trying to keep this guy alive? Is this the guy who's... Uh, loved Frito's, or I mean, uh, Big Bobby's Song of Sorrows. Yes. Oh, that is? Okay, then I will try to tackle him. <laughs> Alright, I thought it's... <laughs> Three grown ass men try to grapple one dude. <laughs> it's the real slippery Steve. They knew the jig was. I guess. I got a three. <laughs> he dodges oh, out of the way. 
Steve! Suddenly we're all leave. covered in Vaseline for some reason. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Disengage and one, Can I, two, three. Wait, no, 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 I wanna, guy. before he runs, I wanna say, uh, hey, you know, all your friends are already dead. You may as well just, you know, hang out with us now. Um, we'll be your friends now. Join the Chrome As Legion. You don't have an action on your turn. You say that flavor-wise, but you cannot try to persuade him. Dang it. Uh, his turn, disengage. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that brings us to Oris. I wish I had spells still. One. Can I grapple him from here, or is that not capable? I'll let you. Okay, I'm going to move there, and I know it doesn't change the roll at all, but I'm literally going to try to, like, jump up on top of his shoulders and, like, grab onto his head and pull him to the ground. Ooh, I got an 11. He dodges out of the way. Good oh God. I literally just jump over him and trip. <laughs> ah! uh, Gerald! Uh, Gerald! I start Gerald chanting. dashes to try to get to, I guess, because he heard you. One, two, three, seven. Gerald, why did you go that way? <laughs> what? <laughs> that? What is it? I'm here. What do you need? You're fired! <laughs> what? You just yelled for no his name, so he got to you the quickest way he knew how. You didn't know what was behind the building. Uh, Robert, that's you. <laughs> Run back into the other room and then jump through the window. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Some of the most unathletic people on the planet trying to capture this one man. <laughs> we can't let him get to the dragon! <laughs> Well, you can tell he's not trying right. to get to the dragon. He's just running away into the woods. Oris is so stupid. I can't let him get to the other cult leader. Oris is so stupid, he thinks there's probably another dragon in that direction. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Robert's running down to the southern room, jumping through the window, going over here. All right. Acrobatics check. You see, you make it through the window on its game. Tear your AC. Right. <laughs> it's Jover. I got a 23. All right. You make it fine, but that's going to be difficult terrain. You yeah. Know. That's 25 where I went. What do you do? I'm going to cast Hideous Laughter on him. He's going to need to make a Wisdom save. Wisdom save. What is he trying to beat? 14. 14? All right. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Oops, on the spot. Ah, uh, he failed. Does he just start laughing? Uh, he falls prone in a fit of laughter that he must uh, save every time he gets a turn. All right, he's on the ground, laughing his ass off. I can see the future, and this is really funny. End of my turn. All right, Frito, that's you. Frito is going to cunning action dash, so I just magically teleport. <laughs> take the dragon cultist clothes off. <laughs> nice. Um, athletics to try to take the clothes off a man who's violently laughing on the ground. <laughs> uh, uh, six. <laughs> yeah, you try, but his hands just like keep hitting yours as he's laughing in a fit of laughter. <laughs> You're just fondling a guy on the ground. <laughs> Give me your clothes! <laughs> it is me. I hope um, the dragon doesn't see us now. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? What I might be evil, but this is, is just after, wrong. <laughs> so is it at the end of his turn he saves, or does he get a chance to save on his turn? At the end of each of his turn. All right. And each time it takes damage. Nat 20, he's fine. <laughs> he stands up. Hello, everybody. He, he just stands back up, and he's just like, you can't tell anything. He's wearing a mask. <laughs> uh, but that would be uh, Oris. All right. Take the clothes. I am going to run right here. Action. Cast friends on him. Is that a saving throw? It's not a saving throw, but in a minute, he'll know it happened. Uh-huh. So anyone has advantage on... I thought you said checks. you didn't have spell slots. That's a cantrip. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Oh, he, you just have advantage on charisma checks directed at him. He doesn't automatically become your friend. Right. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Um, <laughs> Gerald, has anyone told him what you're trying to do? Gerald, get this guy grappled. <laughs> He's going to attempt to grapple him. That is a... 14, he rolled a 7, he gets plus 7. This is the dude you wanted to be grappling the entire time. Just, just close. He poses, falls on him. Uh, dude finally failed. He just gets grappled to the ground by the giant of a man in plate armor. Alright, quick, somebody talk sweet to him. 
<laughs> brings us back up to Robert. So we're I think Bobby lights more of that music on him. Uh, yeah, he's gonna try to break free on this turn. Okay. Yeah. While well, he's grappled, I'm gonna. Riz. Go crazy. While well, he's grappled, I'm gonna pull up, uh, take my manacles out, and try to put them on his arms. Uh, Behind uh, his back. With advantage, I guess, because Gerald is manhandling him. <laughs> hey, you're yeah. grabbing his biddies. Is that any specific roll or just a d20? Flat of hand. 19. Yeah, you get the handcuffs on him behind his back. Good, good, good. <laughs> For your fucking animals. Frito? Frito is going to walk over to the cultist and be like, Do you want to hear some more of that music? And if you do, will you join us? <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion roll! Yeah, persuasion. With advantage. I believe only you have advantage, Dylan. Uh... Yeah, for the duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Rizzo I'm up, Dylan. 14. I'm always down to hear more dragon music about our god, Tiamat. Word. I just, like, stand over him menacingly. Alright, it's his turn. He's gonna try to break free of Gerald. Yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, back to Oris. I, I run up to him and I say, If you say Tiamat one more time without mentioning Chrome Darkness, you're gonna be dead! And I'm gonna punch him in the face, Intimidation. Alright. That's a charisma check, I believe, right? Yep. So that'll be a unnatural 20. Um, how brainwashed. Technically, uh, he is he hostile towards us? Yes. Then I don't, I can't cast friends on him, so it, it's just unnatural 20. Without friends. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for his next turn. Gerald is just going to keep holding on to him. That brings us back up to Robert. Robert just sees me smacking the shit out of this guy. Uh, roll a <laughs> d4. Because you said you're violently punching him, so do your unarmed strike damage. Dive. Which is just one. It's zero damage, so you're as strong <laughs> as you can punching this person, and he's not feeling nothing. Caresses his cheek. You're very precious to me. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, Robert's gonna start playing some, uh, soothing dragon music in the background. <laughs> As I attempt to beat the shit out of this guy, failing horribly. Alright. And that's just gonna be his turn. Oh, okay. Performance. It's gonna be a 13. Alright. Uh, Nick? Um, I'm just gonna ask him how the music sounds, and, like, you know, it's so uh, it's so enticing that you're just gonna want to join us now and uh, you know, be with one, with uh, you know, hanging out with the squad, being a part of the Chrome Lords. Doesn't that sound a lot better than the loser shit you were doing before? Uh, on his turn, he says the music is as always amazing, but Tiamat is the one true queen of Faerun. All right, fuck this guy. Let's kill him. <laughs> He's a sheep. <laughs> At least our god is made up. <laughs> Oris, that's your turn. Yes? He, he just said that there's only one true qu queen of Faerun. Uh, does your your own personal religious beliefs allow that? Is it my turn again? Yeah. Explain that to me. What specifically does that All mean? Right, we're gonna stop out of combat for a little bit, just because otherwise we're just gonna keep having to wait <laughs> for people to respond to each other. Yeah. Run that by uh, me real quick. What's your name? <laughs> Run that shit, Turbo. <laughs> Run that shit. Uh, e Everil. <laughs> Holy shit, I've heard of you. Uh, Tiamat is the only true ruler of this plane of existence. Why do you feel that way? Speak to me. Um, basically what I'm reading is they just want dragons to rule the world. That is their purpose. They're furries. I guess. <laughs> uh, because she is all powerful and all mighty. Agreed. Now let's get this green dragon to go on our quest, shall we? I that's all you're saying to him to try to convince him to join you? You want dragons to be all powerful? So do we. You want to use them for your own devices. We wish to use them. Well, we wish to be used by them. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> um <laughs> We wish to give <laughs> we wish to give this dragon great power. Equip it with the abilities to do mighty things in the future. So it our- a Dragon can do that itself already. Imagine even more mightier thing. <laughs> do you have an imagination? Can you imagine dragons? 
one needs not imagine them when you worship them. Dude, this guy's like a total whore for dragons. I, I, I don't know what to say. Have you fucked a dragon? Have you not? That's not an answer. <laughs> kill him! <laughs> answer the question. Uh, Gerald takes your order to kill him and swings at him. Don't chop his head off. Ah. Keep the hood intact. Just like slice his throat or something. He hit. He slices his throat and... Your music is beautiful. And he falls to the ground dead. Loser! <laughs> woo woo! Loser alert! <laughs> uh... Guys, not only did we interact with a bunch of real dragon cultists, it turns out they're all weirdo nerds. <laughs> what do you expect from a group of dragons? He's a loser. <laughs> I bet they dress up as dragons when they meet up for their big meetings. Fuck uh, everyone fuck. gets 38 experience. Damn, those guys were weak as hell. They were wor weaker than the fucking twig people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you expected from a <laughs> humans wearing robes. I genuinely thought like they posed a legit threat. So it's like, yeah. okay, let's kill them now. I but... thought they'd have magic or something. No, they all just charge at you with swords. Losers. Alright, I'm gonna start walking back inside and taking their clothes off. Yeah. Uh, you take their clothes off. I assume you loot, uh, to, uh, do the same for Vavric. Yep. Do they have any, like, dragon memorabilia on them? They're all wearing dragon masks. Uh, but on we take Vavric, them. you find six lustrous amethysts. And a potion of flying. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you also find his little journal, and you read the latest entry. It's like, these four people pretending to be dragon cultists came by. They'd be a perfect sacrifice for Venom Fang. Oh, <laughs> my God. Pineapple saves the day. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I thought they were slick, Rick. Yeah, no wonder they weren't gonna listen to a fucking thing we said. They were gonna sacrifice us. God damn it! I kick Fabric's dead head <laughs> and do zero damage to it. Yeah, it it just sort of doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were planning. I mean, they had a plan, us. and it probably would have worked if you weren't insistent that they be on your side. Yeah. Hey, one situation where my annoying plan saved us. Can't we all just get along? I suppose if they were being truly cunning, they would have agreed to be on your side, gone with you, and then just sacrificed you anyway. Yeah, yeah they're stupid. <laughs> oh no, they were going to if you had threatened physical harm on them earlier in the encounter before you decapitated one of them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Oh, you get those gems written down, Andrew? Yeah, I got them. And the potion? Yep. Yeah. All right. So should we take a long rest and then... Gerald says yes. He will need his magic slots back to do anything. What time of day is it? Oh, uh, probably late afternoon. All right, so we take a long rest and then we wake up, equip our hoods and our masks, and we head towards the dragon. Everyone take a long rest. So I bury the music lover during the long rest? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm such a sweet guy. When Robert. people aren't assholes, I uh, don't leave their corpses strewn around. Fair enough. <laughs> He's and the I'm only possible. one you bury. There's like a fresh mm -hmm. pound. The rest of them grave, can die. Gravestone, and it's all. And then the other ones are just like lying where they died. Correct. And the rest of them can rot. Good stuff. <laughs> Do I have like uh, sewing materials in my disguise kit, or is it just Probably. disguises in a bag? Okay, I'm going to try to sew like the hoods back on and shit. You have four in tech. Okay, yeah. No, never mind. We could offer the dragon a cloak. <laughs> you want to look like a dragon? Oh. Okay. Did they have the money on them that they were going to offer the dragon? Uh, all you had illustrious were... gems that. Okay. Probably going to offer them. All right. So, mm -hmm. how much money do we want to offer this dragon? I suppose we talk about this as we get ready for bed. How much money does everyone have? Oh, he probably I, likes shiny shit. So I'm just giving him some gems. I have nearly, nearly 800 gold, so I could give him like half of that. I wonder if I have any gems on me. Oh, I, I, I can attune to my ring now, right? I would presume yes. <laughs> I've got soap. Perfect. I got the soap. And I got the soap. 
Um, I have Garnet, I have Amethyst. We got some spell scrolls we could offer as well. I don't think he's gonna want the spell scrolls, never mind. Did we take the robes off these guys too? Yeah. Yes, everyone's wearing cultist robes. Perfect. Okay, so we offer... Since we now know, I know we're all very uh, excited about uh, the Chrome Lords, and you know, once we get back to our castle, we can, you know, have some planning on what our actual cult cult will be like. But now that we have more information on the the real dragon cultists, do we want to try to spin it like we're on their team? I feel like that could help. Yeah, especially if Venom Fang knows what their get ups look like, and we try to act like we're a different from the Chrome Lords. Yeah. He's like, Crow why are you wearing those? We can head to Neverwinter and get someone to make us, like, chrome outfits for our cult once we're ready to go big time. Um, and if we have to go pineapple the on the... Oh, man. The chrome castle. Oh, yeah. Chrome the light. chrome dome. The chrome dome. <laughs> oh, my God. You are a genius, Robert. <laughs> we have to get oh. a dome built on that thing, except... <laughs> Sorry, also, two saying? guys. Pineapple. If I start killing everyone. If we need, if we need to go pineapple mode on <laughs> this dragon, guys, 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 we all scream out pineapple, chrome dome, chrome dome, chrome dome. <laughs> and we will kill the dragon if need be, but that is when we will declare ourselves the chrome lords yes and see the rage course through the dragon as it gets bamboozled oh yes <laughs> i'm gonna count that as my uh inspiring speech so everyone gets nine temp, temp hp yes <laughs> it's really happening y'all all right so we're dragon cultists of faerun we're here to offer the dragon a chance at a mighty quest to to fell the the Demon Lord Kyle. <laughs> Should we come up with a, a better name, or are we sticking with Kyle? I make a history check to see how much I know about the cult I'm pretending to be in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, natural 20 plus 3. <laughs> well, then you know anyone who does not wish the rise of Tiamat is an enemy of the dragon cultist. Okay. Except okay. perhaps their one ally, the Red Wizards of Thay. Oh. Right. Okay, so we were sent here by, what was that guy's name? Uh, what was the oh uh, Haman Kost sent us here to find this Amast. dragon Haman, Jesus Christ and then oh, and then yeah, I'm gonna get canceled for that and then we're supposed to bring him to a secret location or we'll we need like a how do we how do we bring a dragon we didn't think about this how are we gonna get the dragon to Wave Echo Cave without just scaring everybody Promise him there's a huge horde in there. And there's a dude guarding the huge horde. Or it, it's the spider's huge horde of shit. Robert, you can make a really loud noise through your bardic magic, right? Am yeah. I remembering this correctly? Okay, that's what we use. We use like the super gong or something to summon him to, so he knows where to fly to. Mm -hmm. Super gong, super gong. Assuming we're not killing the dragon, but uh, we're open to all possibilities. Um, it's debatable whether that happens. <laughs> right. Okay, so we offer him... I'll offer him 400 gold. You offer him the amethysts or whatever you just got from that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Gerald, what are you offering the, the great dragon? Uh, nothing? I don't think, I, I don't think we all have to offer him something. We're, we're a group. <laughs> well, it just feels like the more the merrier, right? <laughs> That's true. If you do have anything shiny that you don't need, cool. If not, then that's all. Uh, right. Here. I pull out the two spell scrolls I have and give them to him so he can offer those. It's a spell of hold person and a spell of silence. You can offer those to the great dragon. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? I'm gonna Let's bring do this! It literally and... feels like we're going on Shark Tank. I'm gonna bring two of the corpses with me when we go. You're just dragging the corpses behind you? I wanna put them over my shoulders. You are not strong enough to carry two human All right, I'm dragging both of them. You can barely do that. You're going to be moving at like five feet. Gerald, help the man drag a corpse. I don't give a fuck. We have time. Why do we need to bring the dead with us? I have no idea. 
He's got a plan. Let him cook. I'll, I'll start helping. <laughs> it's one of those plans where he doesn't tell us until it hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> I, Gerald very reluctantly picks up the corpse. As soon as we defeat the spider, Gerald is getting the fuck away from us. I hate it here. All right. We start heading towards the tower. <laughs>